Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Now, before I play the mini interview I did with Jesse responding to the podcast claims by Louie and Yawatsi, keep in mind, I posted this on Instagram. 90% of you guys said you guys wanted to hear him and respond to Louie's claims. So I give the people what they want. If you don't want to watch this interview, just get your cheeks out of here and enjoy the video. Let me just, uh, for the people that, that uh, don't know who this is, this is Yawatsi's ex. Uh, just for the people, I just have to clarify that. Uh, so how do you find yourself today, Mr. Jessica? chilling way it just I'm, I'm trying to hit the video but it still says the same thing okay yeah. well, I mean, as long as we can hear you you know what i'm saying i think that's uh uh the best part so um well let's just kind of talk a little bit let's be serious here no jokes chat um let's just talk a little bit i don't know if you saw the whole podcast situation and you kind of were saying that a lot of the things they were saying about that whole day were, weren't true uh do you kind of want to dive into that yeah 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 so um I mean, I saw the clip that you sent me and then I was yeah. like, oh, OK, like, cool. The, the usual, you know, they got to be saying something about me. And then um, then I was like, but wait, I was like, why did they just tell that story? So like, I was wondering if they said it just to like add me in or was that whole point of the story was to talk about me. And then I go back to their podcast to go yeah. listen to it. And that was the whole point of the story was just to pretty much shit on me because like, oh, like I got this juicy ass story and blah, blah, blah. And then right away it goes to that drama. So I heard the story, the way they told it, and it's like 70% accurate. So that whole part when they're talking about um, them, them shooting merch, that's all facts. They were shooting merch. Um, we were launching her merch that uh, we we're launching her merch. They're both taking pictures, but exactly what they said, she was like telling him, I don't want to take the same pictures in the same spot because people are going to tell me that I'm copied off X. When it got to be BS was when um, he said, oh, que se metió Jesse for no reason. That did. That's not how I went down. The way it went down was I was sitting inside with my cousin, uh, Yami or whatever, Jasmine. Okay. His, his so we're inside the house and then Yoati storms in and she's just like, fuck that. I can't do this no more. I can't do it no more. And I'm like, do what? She's like, I can't. And then Louis comes in behind her like, no, fuck that. Like, tell her, tell her that she's fucking wrong. Tell her that she's fucking wrong. I'm like, tell her, tell her what? Like, what is going on? And he's, she's crying. He's already heated. I'm just sitting there like, what is going on? And then I was like, look, man, I don't know what's going on. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing that's going on. Um, and then they start going at it. She's yelling at him like he's always fucking copying me or whatever. What did you say? She, uh, people are telling me that I'm always copying him. And like, I'm just frustrated. He's not listening to me. And he se puso sus moños and he just starts going off on Yoati. And I'm sitting there because I've been told before, stay out of it. This is a family affair. This is family business. You know, it's I have nothing to do with it. Yeah. So, you know, I just sat there and I took it, whatever I like, listened. But when it got very out of hand in Mimeti, si Mimeti was because Louis had said to Yoatsi, like pissed off as fuck. Um, he said, he said, if it wasn't for me, like you wouldn't be shit. Like who gave you your first fucking camera? Who gave you that fucking camera? I fucking gave it to you. That's why you fucking have a YouTube because of me. And that's when I stepped in. I was like, okay, that's crossing the line. Like you guys can argue, yell, whatever. That's cool. But don't be, don't be throwing low blows like that. And I'm not just going to sit here and, not, and, and say nothing. So I was like, that's exactly how I said it. I was like, yo, 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 like, no te pases, bro. Like, that's too much. That's too much. That's when he decided to say, you know, who shut the fuck up? Who the fuck involved you? And I was like, well, you did. You walked into this house and you asked me, tell her she's fucking wrong. So at that point, again, I shut up. They went at it because I'm, you know, I'm pissed. I want to, I want to fight the guy. Like, don't talk to me like that. But I was like, you know, I'm going to shut up. So I did. So then I shut up. And then they keep arguing. Yoatsi's crying. She leaves to the room. He's pissed. I'm done. I'm leaving. He goes to his room. And then I go to the room to talk to her. And I'm like, look, you're the older sibling. I don't understand why he's disrespecting you like that. I do understand that he's famous. He's bigger than you and, and all this stuff. Itolo, but that doesn't give him the right to act like the older sibling, to talk down to you, to any of us. It's not right. Yeah. So that's what I'm, I'm, les estoy contando. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get her against him. That's never been my thing um yeah because he mentioned uh, louis castro had mentioned that uh 
that the whole time that you were talking to Yawati was basically to try to convince her to go against Louis. What would you say yeah, about yeah. that? And, and that's, it's, it's not true because why, why would I do that? I, it's family. That's not my business. I stayed out of it. So I did talk to her and said, like, because I've always seen them struggle about that, where ella se deja, like if she's the younger sibling. And if you have siblings, you know how it is. You know, it's in my head, I have an older brother. I respect him no matter what, if I disagree or not, like that's my older brother and that's just how I was taught. So I didn't do that. Hablé con ella and I was like, I feel like this is that moment that you need to realize like he does that to you. Mm -hmm. He threw this in your face you sh and you don't need to take it. I was like, you just need to stand up for yourself and say, hey, I'm the older sister, like have some respect for me. So then I went to talk to Louis in the room with his boyfriend and then I was like, hey, she wants to talk, ya se calmaron. Like you guys want to talk, yes or no? And he said, yes. So I said, all right. So I went to Yoatsi Ellos. They went into the room. They talked without me. I don't know what the conversation was. All I know is that they came back. I swear to God, they blamed it on me. It's his fault. He's the bad guy. He's the, in my whole life, it, I'm always the black sheep. Pay attention to now how everybody points the finger like, oh, Jesse does this and Jesse does, bro. Like, why are they even talking about me? Like, I, I don't get it. I'm home. I'm working. I'm doing my thing. And my name is still in their mouths. Why? Like, you know, so not only did I want to clear the air, like that's not what happened. Cause they're going to try to make a video from this and go and fucking try to spin it and like try to make it worse. But for what? Like I saw, I saw and I heard what happened with Yoatsi and that other girl. I do remember that girl, by the way. Yeah. Do. What she said was facts about us inviting her to the, the, the baptism or the whatever but so you actually lied about so that girl the bully allegedly leslie yeah i do remember her yeah i remember her clearly mm. <laughs> and okay. so not only that but like i'm looking through the comments and people are like don't cheese me on the like oh jesse hates louis because he's gay well first of all that video that he came out when he came out he came out to me and Yoatsi. I was the one who said, because he said, meet us at the church. And, said, you know, I have something to tell you. He was crying. And I, and then he just didn't want to say anything. And I asked him, like, yo, what do you, you know, what do you need? Whatever. And I was like, let me take a shot in the dark. If I'm right, I'm right. I mean, if I'm right, cool. If I'm not, then I'm not. And he's like, yeah, go ahead. So I said, you're gay. When I met him, I knew he was gay. But, and I told Yoatsi, she got pissed. Don't fucking say that about my brother. It was before he came out. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I wasn't being disrespectful. It is what it is. But that girl... Leslie, I remember her. That was all facts. Yeah. Um, and the whole point of me also coming on here is this dude, like, se enfada uno, bro. Like, this is what I was saying when they, they play the victim card really hard. Like, I will never say that what I did was okay. I took accountability. And you know that. I took accountability. I took responsibility. What I did, I don't have any reason to say what I did was justified at all. But... It, they're, 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 they're not realizing the damage that they're doing to other people away. Like no. the, they like, okay, put it this way. When I did what I did, it was for reasons like this. They went on, on YouTube, they talked hella shit. It pushed me over the edge on top of everything I was going through yeah. because think about it. We like, they're traumatizing, you know, re-traumatizing other people. Lo que sea. Like, you know, like my friends from back home hitting me up, like, yo, like, did you see what she said? Like this and this and that. And um like fuck like i'm i'm like she's still talking about me like the girl she was like oh that girl's a backstabbing bitch or this and that i'm like bro like you're talking shit about this girl kid doesn't even talk about you and no one no one ever says anything to them because they feel that they have their following so they're untouchable because they got two mil they got a hundred thousand like i'm up here they can't touch me like they're not gonna say shit and it's like, bro, like, yo, like I said, I'm working, I'm minding my business. Like, why are they still talking about me? I get what I did, but please move on. Yeah. That, at that point becomes a bully. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I so I got two questions, two questions yes. for you. So, uh, well, well, I, well I want to talk a little bit about the, what the bully said to Yoati, right? So at one point when Yoati was on the live with me, uh, I think the bully, or she was telling the bully, she had mentioned that you had already told, because I know we had our interview and everything, but she yeah. said that you had already told one of, I think, Yoati's friends your whole plan before the whole before that whole situation happened, that you had already told one of the friends. I forgot who she said it was, but was that pre-planned? Because that's the way that Yoati made it seem. No, everything just kind of happened. Okay. Nothing was nothing was pre-planned at all. And it's like people are saying like, oh, I, I pointed a gun. I did. I mean, I did my time. I don't know what else they fucking want me to do. I did my time. If I really did point a gun or all this shit, like 
I, I don't think I would have gone to jail for 11 months. Like, it's just common fucking sense. And then to the fans and everybody who's, you know, on this stuff right now, like. Okay, uh, I'm only saying because I think she said that it was in the police report. That's why I don't know if that's true. I haven't really looked into that, so I don't really know if it's true or false. But anyways, uh, moving on past from that. Yeah. Uh, so would you say that young lady, um, Yawati did bully that young lady then? Because you, cause you said so, you recall who that was. I, rem I, I know who she is. I don't remember if she bullied her or not. I do know that like that whole thing that they were talking about, like um, the only one that I know honestly who got bullied in high school for the most part was Louis. Cause I was there for it. I was there, I would pick him up from school, yo, I'd see, I would wait outside of the car just in case no one says shit. And I'm like, fuck, you know? I remember him being like, I can't do this no more. I quit, I wanna switch schools. I remember talking with Yoatsi and him and his family, like, hey man, like you can't let them win, whatever, all this and that, you know what I mean? So then uh, my next question to kind of just a little bit wrap it up here. So then what your relationship with, with Louis Castro, was it always kind of a, a bumpy or like, uh, cause I think no. he made it seem, cause I, I think on the podcast he was saying that, that he was the one that always stood up to you when when you and Yoati were arguing and stuff. Was the whole like relationship you guys always had like beef or problems or? or, or no, dude, how I mean, how would it be beef that that merch that he was talking about the baddest better? I designed that the baddest better with the sweats and the other thing. I designed that. I did all of that. And then like the same thing with his um YouTube. Like I was just behind the scenes for all the stuff he did what he did but like i never had beef with him i would i texted him before i went to jail saying like happy birthday proud of all your stuff you know and you know sigue le haciendo lo que i know you hate me but it's all good man like do what you're doing like regardless you're still like a little brother to me at the end of the day no matter what and people are gonna believe what they want to believe that's 100 percent cool i really it, it is what it is you know like okay uh and then just to uh, basically just to wrap it out uh, wrap it up you just basically uh, if you want to say something I mean, to be honest, one, I just wish and hope. I mean, they're going to fucking try to make a video and spin this, which is cool, whatever. Um, I just want them to understand, like, bro, like, they're, tra they're, they're victimizing themselves more and then hurting other people on along the way. Like, people that just are irrelevant to them. Like, I'm irrelevant to them. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a liar, whatever everybody wants to say. I don't give a fuck. And then at the end of the day, they still want to use me for what? Like at this point, like, leave me alone. Let me live my life. Let me do what I got to do. What is the point of you talking shit about me? Like, I'm already nothing to everybody. So why go and bash me more? Why bring me up? Anybody at that point. So, and then again, and then to the followers who are watching, it's just like, come on, man. Like, just again, leave it alone. Why are you guys hyping them up? They already have 2 million followers, 800,000 followers. They already have the money, the house. Then why still talk about everybody? else you know because people are telling me like oh you're gonna go and talk about her i'm like no i'm not this is only happening because they are still putting my name and no one else wants to say anything about them or to them yeah. you know it's not for me to start shit. it's for me to just say look leave us alone everybody live your lives you guys are rich you guys are famous fucking live your life and leave everybody else out of it you don't need to fucking come and bully us when we ain't doing shit to you you know what i mean Okay. All right, then. Well, thank you so much, Jesse, for uh, coming on here and clearing up uh, some things. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Now, if you stay to the end, here's your extra credit. Jesse sent me this video basically showing up. If you don't remember the first interview I did with him, how he was saying that him and Alex were always friends first. He sent me this video. Here. That's my friend. That's my friend. <laughs>